guys, so today I'm going to be doing a Rosacea Diaries and I'm going to give you an update on my Dermalogic products, tell you which ones I liked and which ones I didn't. Um, some of you guys might be wondering why I use the Dermalogic products and I'll kind of do a little um, background information on that as well. So I have been using the Polish Choice products for a little while and I have been getting pretty good results. I didn't feel like it worked as well as my Soothe Royal Damon Field for the redness, but it worked better than that for keeping the rosacea acne away. So I've been kind of um, been doing a mixture of the two. And Dermalogica reached out to me and asked me if I would be willing to try their products. And I was like, yeah, I might as well try them because I know some of you guys might not have rosacea. So I thought it would be nice to see what a routine would look like for a normal healthy skin. And for those of you who do have rosacea, I'll let you know what worked and what didn't. So first off was the pre-cleanse. So this is an oil-based makeup remover that you can just basically rub all over your face and then wipe it off and rinse with water. I really liked this. I thought it was really good at removing makeup and it's something that I'll continue to use. And yeah, I like using a micellar water maybe a little bit better as far as it's easy because you don't have to always rinse it off. This worked better for me for mascara and things like that. And also I like that it kept my skin a little more hydrated. Next, the special cleansing gel. This is not formulated for acne, for rosacea. This is basically just for, I would say, more normal skin. And this was not a product that I was a fan of. When I wasn't using the pre-cleanse, like when I didn't have makeup on and I just jumped in the shower and I washed my face, uh, my face felt a little dry after I used it and I, I don't think this is a bad cleanser. I just don't think this is the right cleanser for my skin. Now, does Dermalogica carry cleansers that are more for acne prone skin? Probably, but this specific one, which is a special cleansing gel, is not something that I would recommend for rosacea. But if you do have normal to slightly oily skin and you don't struggle with acne, then I think it would work just fine. So next was a new product. This was the Daily Super Foliant. And I said in the video that I really like this and I do really like this. I think it's good for just a nice exfoliation to the face. I hadn't been using a like manual exfoliant for a while so I liked using this. I did feel like my skin was super smooth after I used it. It's something that I probably use maybe once, twice a week. It's not something that I would personally use every day if you don't have sensitive skin that you, then you could use it every day but it's something that I will continue to use and just mix into my regimen. So the Charcoal Rescue Mask, I also really liked this. I thought it was good for just kind of tanning my face down and giving it a nice mask. Um, Rodan Fields has an unblemished cleanser that I also use as a mask and I probably would rotate the two, although it did kind of help brighten my skin and help with that exfoliation feeling. It's not gonna be something you're gonna put on when you have a breakout that's gonna like heal your breakout, but it does help draw out some of the impurities maybe to prevent breakouts. So next I have the Antioxidant Hydra Mist. I actually really liked this. I don't know that it did a whole lot for my skin, but I felt like it was really nice feeling like, especially if I just needed a little pick me up. I like the feeling, I like the smell. And so that's something I'll probably continue to use as well. The Dynamic Skin Recovery SPF 50. I thought this one was fine. It's okay for a daily moisturizer, but it wasn't maybe as moisturizing as I would like it to be. I felt like it is absorbed into the skin really quickly, but it almost didn't leave me enough moisturized feeling as what I'm used to or what I prefer to have. So this is something maybe I'd put in a travel bag or use if I was out of something else, but it's not something that I'd like purposely reach for. And it's great because it has the SPF 50. So maybe like summer days, this would be a great thing to pick. But as far as like wintry dry skin, it's just not enough moisture for me. Overall, I felt like there wasn't anything in this system that combated my acne rosacea. So as you can see, my face is breaking out. I've had breakouts here, here, over here. And overall, even though I like some of these products, it's not enough to use them on their own to give me the clear skin that I'm looking for. Something that I really missed was my Redness Relief 1% BHA lotion. My skin works really well to the ingredients in this and I didn't use this and I wanted to so many days, but I wanted to give this Dermalogica just a straight up test and I did use this exclusively for those three weeks and I tried to make it a full month, but I was just like, 
I couldn't. I couldn't do it anymore. So I'm going to mix some of these products in and probably do more of a custom routine. I do think that the products work good. I just think that my skin needs some of that salicylic acid, which is in this BHA as well. So I hope that was helpful for you guys. I'm just going to maybe start up a new kind of routine with some of these products. And I know it probably will feel like I'm using 5,000 things, but right now I'm not really happy with how my skin is looking. So I definitely need to do something different, but like I said, I do think individually these products are good. I just don't think the whole is enough for me to combat, you know, the acne stuff going on. So there's kind of a close up look with how my skin looks. I mean, you can see it's not really cute right now. Forehead is doing pretty okay. Even with uh, the exfoliation, you know, it might take the tops off and soften out some of these bumps, but overall, you know, if you're still getting the bumps forming, it's not, you're not going to be farther ahead. Anyway, so that's my update on the Dermalogica products. I hope that was helpful for you guys and I will see you guys next time. Bye.